slimy. <laughs> There you are. Come on, I found something incredible. Hold on, relax, man. I can't keep getting in trouble. I can't get expelled again. It's always about me with you. Me, me, me. I'm thinking bigger picture, and you're worrying about getting into trouble? You know what? You really are something. What bigger picture? I'm, uh, we are gonna take over this school. We are not taking over anything right now. Time and tide wait for no man, my friend. But it seems they do wait for a wannabe tough guy who's nothing but a little girl. You're full of it. So you keep telling me, look, now come on. I promise you, after this, things are never gonna be the same again. Oh, I'm so excited. I should have stopped taking those pills ages ago. Yeah, right. Whatever you say, Gary. Jimmy's gonna kick your ass! You right, Jimmy? No, I've got I've you! I can teach you a lesson! Oh, your mama gets better! You're pathetic! Get closer to hate me! Come on, Candy! I'm gonna make your life a little bit more young! Are you hurting yet? You're definitely fine! this Jimmy we can't get in there how can we get at the switch Jimmy you dunce use your slingshot to hit the broom Switch. Jimmy, you duck! Jimmy, over here! Now here's another switch I used to... Whoa! Live wires!
Almost there. Huh, a steam leak. I've heard of those happening, but I've never seen one. Cool. A bit, I bet the steam would stop. If you could lower the furnace temperature a bit, I bet the steam would stop. up again. Jimmy boy, here we are, the hole. The place where this school separates the men from the boys, the wheat from the chaff and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people, keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. Only one of us is going to make it. And it's going to be me! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you Russell! Oh, man. Me, Russell! Gary, now I hate you. I know. Russell. Go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard uh, animals. What? Come here. Russell wants vengeance.
happy now, jerk? Ecstatic. I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No. I'm taking over this school, and you're just a liability. See you around, moron. Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. You all right, Russell? Oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Bad Russell. With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath. Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir. I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals? No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. Hey, new kid. You're that guy that beat up Russell. So? What's it to you? Hey, listen, we like to box the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Okay. performance anxiety. <laughs> Get used to it, kid. You're a man. It's all downhill from here, my friend. Anyway, what do you want? Nothing. The head sent me. He did? Oh, yeah! I need you to go to town and pick up some meat and other things for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. I need some meat from Yum Yum Market. Oh, and a razor from the barbers for my stash. And, um, oh yeah, some new knickers from Worn In. I've had these on since last term. Ha ha ha! Hurry up! Go, take my bike. It's that fine machine out there by the school gates. All right. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs>
shopping outside, fool. said it expires at midnight. are quite clear on this subject. Quite clear. No alcohol on school grounds. Uh, You're drunk. Uh -huh. I can smell it on your breath. Uh -huh. I can see it in your eyes. I'm not drunk. Drunk? In charge of children? What kind of monster drinks in front of children? A uh, parent? A disgraceful one, yes. You've got a problem, haven't you? I'm just under a lot of pressure. Uh. Well, I'm a kind and supportive colleague, Galloway. And as such, I think it is my duty to get you sacked. Uh, do whatever you want, Hattrick. You always do. The head will find out about this. 
You okay, sir? Ah, Jimmy. No, I'm not okay. I'm half drunk, and I'm about to get fired. Fantastic! Oh, I'm a washed up old drunk and I'm only 34. English, you see, is a difficult subject to teach. I've tried any number of things to dull the pain. Yoga, meditation, needlepoint, looking at dubious sites on the internet, but nothing dulls the pain like scotch. Come on, sir, put that away. Are you mad? This is manna from the gods! Give me that! Let's get rid of this before you get busted. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jimmy. Miss Phillips is the only teacher to know about my vice. Take it to her. She will know what to do. Thank you. 
Welcome to photography class. I'm Miss Phillips. I'll be handing out your cameras and first assignment in a moment. sensitive side. I rock! I think we can call that a wrap. Quietly. 